Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at a live stream from Gorilla Publishing. Now, I did the video about it yesterday. Ron Durbin got arrested and now he was at the hospital and we realized that he has a $20,000 bond and it turns out he will have court tomorrow morning. But while he's at the hospital, what's really interesting is that he reveals that his business partner, co-frauditor sandbagged him and stabbed him in the back and ran back to Oklahoma because he was too scared to get arrested himself. And this truly proves my point that there's no honor amongst frauditors. Without further ado, enjoy the video. Ever uh, from a hospital room, I am at St. Dominic's Hospital in Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, as a result of uh, the Pearl Police Department, um, Mississippi. I was, uh, yesterday I went with James Freeman and uh, to the Pearl Mississippi Police Department and uh, I was walking around and I, I walked into the mayor's office and had a conversation with her assistant and apparently she didn't appreciate the fact that I was filming. It was not a restricted access area at all. There was no signs. I pointed it all out. I have it all on video. I wasn't live, but I have it all on video. And um, the officer comes and kicks me out and I'm out in the hall and he just doesn't like the fact that I'm trying to explain to him that they need to put up signs. So he goes inside to the woman and solicits her to file a complaint for disturbing the peace. Uh, I have found out since then that I'm charged with disturbing the peace and trespassing at City Hall. Yeah, I, I don't know how, I don't know how. Um, they set the bond for, for misdemeanors at $20,000. $20,000 um, and uh, they won't tell us, they won't issue the warrants, they won't actually even tell us that it's $20,000. One cop told us it's a $20,000 bond. So we don't even know and they've been parked outside the hall. Um, I'm not under arrest yet because they won't issue the warrant because they didn't want me to be here under their arrest where they had to pay for this stuff that they've done to me. So. Um, yeah, uh, 20K for misdemeanors. That's, that's felony level stuff, folks. That's punitive for the purposes of punishing me because I made the mistake of going into the government building and thinking I could you know, exercise my constitutional rights in Mississippi. Uh, it's, it's, it's utterly absurd. Uh, no, I've been in the hospital since yesterday. I'm, I'm in the hospital. I don't know, they won't tell me what the heck they're gonna do. Um, um, yeah, I don't know. So, uh, I was here with Sean and, and, and James Freeman. James, look, I had no issues with James, ever. James is great. Um, James came all the way over here to support me. Um, uh, the other subject, I'm not even going to talk about. It's not worth it. Um, uh, just understand that um, when the going gets tough, the tough get going, or the scaredy cats get running back to Oklahoma to avoid any potential that they would get arrested because they're terrified and uh hey robert snell thank you so much for that bud um that's what we had there we had a terrified little man that instead of staying back um leaving no man behind decided he wanted to run that's okay that's okay to each their own uh, I, I got lee behind me and, and that's what i need so by the way sean is the gremlin that got arrested in new jersey that taco terry exposed an absolutely vile individual he was treating this woman like absolute trash and then he edited out of the video to make himself look like the nice guy. So anyways, pure scumbag and this is what the viewers had to say. The real story is that Ron yelled and berated Sean in the hospital last night for hiring a bondsman that he didn't want. This isn't the first time that Sean has been treated like this either. Ron then told Sean to get his shit out of his truck and camper and leave. James Freeman was nice enough to offer to take Sean home after seeing how he was treated firsthand. Ron is always a martyr though. And yes, this guy, Ron Durbin, always plays the victim. Uh, and then people are just acknowledging that he treats Sean like shit and so on. And people are saying they're unsubscribing. But what I find really hilarious First of all, I couldn't care who's right or wrong in this situation. To me, this is just some teenage school drama that makes no sense for adults to do in public. 
but that's their business. But it just proves that these guys, they don't have each other's back. They're always grifting off each other. I mean, this guy, Sean, is his business partner. He records every single video together, and the guy's in the hospital, and he leaves to Oklahoma. So it just tells you everything you need to know about them. But let's get back to the video. Now, Ron Durbin continues to play the victim, so he's going to talk about all his multiple ailments. I'm here. They got me on the heart stuff. So here's, 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 let me just give you the update. Um, I have coronary artery disease. So I have stents, I have coronary artery disease, and I have small vessel disease, and I have what's called slow flow. And so it's a fun combination. So let me see if I can explain it to you. Small vessel disease means, so we think about like all the arteries and veins running to the heart, but there's really a whole bunch of small vessels they run to the heart a bunch and they deliver a bunch of blood to the heart. Well, mine are clogged, all right? So those vessels just don't much do anything for the heart. Um, and then uh, I've got uh, slow flow, which means that the, the major vessels and arteries that go, they're big. And uh, unfortunately, uh, they collapse. And also because they're big, it slows down the flow of blood, especially in high stress and in dehydration, so I said too much catfish. Um, and uh, it, it causes extreme chest pain. I don't know how to explain it other than to say that some, imagine somebody's like grabbing your chest and squeezing it as hard as they possibly can uh, without letting up. Shortness of breath, it's, it's terrible. Uh, and I can tell you, it doesn't feel, I, I've had heart attacks. It does not feel any different having one of these than versus having a heart attack. It, no different whatsoever. It is absolutely excruciatingly unpleasant. Um, and uh, so I said panic attack. I, that, that happens too, tight spaces. That doesn't help situations. Stress and all that stuff doesn't help situation. Anyway, um, the, uh, the nice fantastic cardiologists here have decided that I need another medication that will help uh, with, uh, uh, with that. And, uh, hey, I have a suggestion, Ron. Since you seem to have all these ailments and you're very sick with your heart, why don't you stop frauding and committing crimes? That way, you're not gonna get arrested, you're not gonna get thrown to the ground like last year. Why don't you just cut out all that bullshit? I know you wanna be an internet celebrity, you really have that look in your eyes like you really want the fame, but maybe you're getting too old for that and you're getting too sick for it. So why don't you put that shit aside and on top of that, there's a strong chance that he's going to criminalize his kid in the next couple months because now his son is going to be following him around recording. It's just a matter of time before he gets arrested. Even Amagansett Press's son got arrested at least twice that I know of. So yeah, I think it's time to hang up the camera and just quit this bullshit. Hopefully that will help. Anyway, we're trying to figure out what the process is here. And uh, I've got a bondsman. I've already paid them two grand to bond me out. So that's all arranged. And uh, we just can't get them uh, to, to tell us um, what the plan is. So I'm going to walk back down the hall real quick with you guys and you might not be able to see that best. I'm going to, um, I'm going to, uh, AFA wasn't here. Uh, AFA wasn't here. Josh has called, Abrams called me multiple times this morning, checking on me. Um, Abrams is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is great. And Freeman was just getting Sean, you know, out of here. I, I got no issues with Freeman. And look, Lee, Lee's my son, and Lee, Lee's very unhappy. And Lee watched the conversation last night, and Lee was extremely pissed. Uh, in fact, I thought Lee at one point from listening to Sean talk was going, I, I, Lee's not a very violent person, and he's not a violent person at all. He's never hit anybody. And I, I for a second, thought he was going to just punch Sean in the nose um, because Sean was just being absurd uh, and afraid, just terrified. If I go back to Pearl, I'm going to get arrested. I can't go. I can't do that. I'm. I. I if I come back, he, he was afraid to come back to the hospital because the the guy watching me. He was afraid that he was going to get arrested if he came back up to the hospital. Lee had to, like, tell him like, Hey, I've been walking up and down the hall, and I was there too, and I, they've not arrested me. Like Sean was that afraid, so Sean fled. Sean's back. Sean left. Went to Oklahoma. So, 
um, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> not the best wingman in the world, uh, turns out, but that's okay, you know, to each their own, and, 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 uh, uh that's the last time I'm gonna say of it, I don't, I don't have any ill will towards anybody, uh, to each their own, peace to him, uh, just, uh, it was a lesson learned, and that's all it is, I, I have no, Ill, I'd never have any ill will towards anybody, it's just, I, I can't, I don't have it in me, um, I don't have it in me. And yeah, there's viable reason to be scared, but you don't leave a, you don't leave a man behind in my mind. But again, that's just my opinion. Um. But yeah, it seems like Ron doesn't understand that when you are a criminal and you hang out with criminals, they don't have the most loyalty. I mean, frauding is a crime. This guy has been arrested four times for it already that I know of. So obviously, if you're there committing crimes sometimes, there's going to be someone that leaves and just leaves you holding the bag. And in this case, that's what happened. Now, maybe he's going to rely on his son a little bit more. But like I said before, it's just a matter of time before his son gets criminalized as well. I don't know if he already has a criminal history. He looks pretty young, maybe 18, 19. So it's really unfortunate that we're seeing an Amagansett Press 2.0 over here. Well, there you have the answers, guys. I don't know what else you want to know. But that's... That's the answers, folks. So, we're going to chill here. Um, they wanted to keep me um, and do a cath, but I said no. No caths for Ron. I don't want a needle in my heart. If I'm going to have a needle in my heart, Dr. Hussein in Tulsa, Oklahoma has seen me naked a lot. Um, so, you couldn't hear him? Okay, you couldn't hear him. Here's what he said. He said that... Um, he didn't really know yet what the warrant is, uh, and that he it won't be issued. It won't be issued until I'm released. So they're here babysitting me, but they won't issue the warrant until I've been released from here. So technically, I don't have a warrant, and I guess I could walk out that door to the left there. Where's my shoes? Let's go. Huh? Yeah. Why not? He said I don't have a warrant. Yeah. Go get the truck. Where, where's the truck at? It's uh down and around on the other side. Oh, God. I have a damn warrant. Make sure he's not looking. If I don't have a warrant, I don't have to stick around. He's probably watching the live. I don't have a warrant, guys. I don't, I'm not running from anything. He, he said I don't have a warrant yet. A warrant has not been issued. No, my doctor didn't say I should leave yet. But if I don't have a warrant, I don't have the medicine they want to give me either, though. I don't know. I don't know what to do, guys. This is not like there's a script for any of this. And they say, this is how you handle getting your rights abused. Well, no, there is a script, and you've been using it all along, the frauditor script, right? How do you not realize that? And that's why you're in this position, is because you've been using the frauditor script. The second you start using your head and drop this nonsense, you're going to realize that all of this, all of this activism you think you're doing, it's all bullshit. You are just a YouTube entertainer and a shitty one of that. That's the most you'll ever be on YouTube, unless you decide to do something else. Anyways, that's it for the video. From my understanding, he was let go a little bit later, and then he was given a court date of tomorrow morning, so he will have to show up to court tomorrow for the next step in the procedures. I'll keep you posted. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.